Libra, what it got damn be, bruh. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. You already know it's me. And you already know Libra season is coming. And y'all the most viewed. So you know I'm going to start with you, big baby. Yes, we're going to find out what is going on with you for the month of October. Bur is it your birthday season? It's a birthday. It is your birthday. Pop it. It's your birthday. Pop that pussy, girl. Because it's your birth. Okay, anyway, let me stop. Y'all see me clowning. Y'all see me clowning. Anyway, thank you guys for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for all the love, likes, support, the sharing, and the caring that you guys do here over at Scorpion Red Tarot. If you guys want to book a personal and private reading, my booking page is down. I'm actually about to get rid of the Simply Book Me page, okay? So if you guys want to book with me, just send me a direct message to my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, or you can just send me a message on Instagram, okay? So um, if these videos resonate with you if you want to send some love and light to the page you can also support by first off clicking that like button okay and if you feel a little frisky go ahead and hit that share button too um if you guys want to support uh the growth of the page you can click the about tab on my youtube page my paypal my cash app and my amazon wish list is there i want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been sending some support we got some new decks we got the crystal unicorn tarot we we got the Moonology Tarot, and then we also got the Mermaid Tarot deck here. I don't know. Can y'all see it? No, it's up here. Anyway, so thank you guys so much. And then I have some other decks, two other decks that are coming later on this week that is specifically surrounded by, you know, Halloween and everything like that. So we're going to have more of a kind of <laughs> spooky vibe going on over here. Ah, yes, ma'am. So y'all will see that during the mid-month. So, let's just get into the energy. Again, thank you guys so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, you guys are the first video out the gate. So, I just want to, you know, let you guys know. Thank you so much for the support. Y'all always the most viewed damn near every goddamn month. So, thank you guys so much, Libra. You already know where the goddamn be, bro. So, let's get into this energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for spreading this love, light, and this abundance all through <laughs> Libra and Libra season, Father God. Thank you so much for allowing us to see another year, celebrate our birthdays, Father God. You know, we've been living in a blessed and abundant life. We thank you so much for bringing all this positivity and this joy into our heart and our lives, Father God, especially during our season. You know, it's our season for a reason. You know, in fall, we're going to have it all, Father God. Let it all fall into our lap, Father God. Let us all fall into a place where we're supposed to be, God. Thank you so much for just, you know, guiding us and providing us a better day every damn day, Father God. Please give us guidance. Please give us wisdom for the month of October. Um, and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance today for the sign of Libra. You already know what it be. And thank you so much again for all of the love and light. Please give us guidance for October for my Libras, okay? So, I'm going to not do this the way I have the spread out. I'm going to start out with the Moonology deck. Um, that's just what I feel guided to do. So, we're going to start there. So, let's see what energy we got here for my Libras. Let's get some moon oracle guidance. And again, thank you to everyone who has been supporting the page, the Cash App, PayPal, and the Amazon wish list. Like, I would not have this deck. I would not have the unicorn uh, oracle or tarot decks um, if it was not for you guys' support. So thank you guys again for all of the love and light and the support. All right, so let's figure out how the moon phases are affecting the Libras. Going our season, all right. Oh Lord, you got some ram. You, you look, look, you got some ram. <laughs> we got the new moon in Scorpio. This says to work through your fears. Ooh, and you already know the Scorpio energy. The Scorpio moons have a lot of like intensity surrounding it. it has a lot of intensity surrounding it so again it says work through your fears so it might be something going on right now with you guys libra that um something came in and it's about to be on its way out and it seems like 
during this time you might have a little fear of addressing whatever it is because you kind of are being more cautious of your stinger because you know Libra and Scorpio is right neck to neck up against each other so y'all got that spicy stinger energy too you know what I'm saying especially when y'all listen <laughs> I know me some Libras Libra what it be baby what it goddamn be and for y'all that is a little bit closer to the Scorpio cuss I know good and goddamn well what that is. <laughs> I already know what it be honey I know when y'all <clears throat> When y'all get ready to shake, rattle, and roll to pull the nigga up, I know that y'all don't have no problem not being nice about it. Um, but this time around, I feel like you guys are being a little bit more cautious. And for some reason, it's something that's making you nervous about working through this energy. It's like... Y'all want to say and y'all want to address it and y'all want to handle it without hurting anybody. And... Um, for some reason, I feel like the person that you're dealing with, I feel like they might try to fight back or bite back or something, and you're concerned about it. So, I feel like you're treading lightly. You're treading lightly because it's like, I'm ready to, you came in, I'm ready to phase you out, but it's just like, I want to do this cautiously. I want to do this with elegance and grace. Like, I just don't want things to get ugly. So, that's what I'm getting with that, working through that, um... Working through your fears with that new moon in Scorpio. Mm, patience, yes. We got the patience. So, oh, and then the whole theme for this reading this month for October is unicorns. Because I already told y'all we some power range of unicorns out here. All right? So, as we're working through these fears, it looks like we're trying to demonstrate some patience here. We're trying to demonstrate some patience. And you see a lot of darkness around this unicorn. It's a dark phase in your life right now. And I, I, uh -uh, not around the birthday season. Uh-uh. It says, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Patience and play while you wait. Be patient and play while you wait. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. We want to get some. We want to jump right into this guidance. Hmm. It says pause before you take action. That's what I'm saying. That working through your fears is something that has you taking caution. It's something that has you taking caution, man. I honestly feel like y'all might um, pack up and move out in the middle of the night. Just like y'all might sneak out at night or something. I feel like some of y'all are like ready to make a big transition out. Y'all are tired of being in um, a, just like gloom and darkness. And you see how the unicorn, um, whatever little unicorn thingy thing you see how it's glowing like it's trying to lead them somewhere different and i forgot what these um what is this shit called the the something light the northern lights northern lights like y'all are about to follow the north star towards the northern lights your unicorn little tusk or whatever the hell that damn thing is called it's like lighting up following the northern lights and it's the same color it's like y'all are going north but you gotta be patient and it might just simply be that y'all are about to move um maybe where you're at right now is a lot of doom and gloom around and um yeah the world's in reverse you guys are scared of moving you guys are scared of moving because you don't know what lies ahead of you you don't know what lies ahead of you and, um, you know, the moon, Lord, why am I saying the moon? Did I say the moon or the world? The moon, 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 the moon. I'm sorry, I know this is the world card, but I said the moon and I mean the moon. You guys are scared about what lies ahead. And you're taking caution. It's something, you're waiting for something to make you feel more comfortable but you have to work through your fears you can't get to where you're going if you scared 
if you're scared to push through, do you understand the northern light is calling you? The moon is calling you. It's that gravitational pull. Do you understand what I'm saying? The hierophant. The hierophant here. Do you understand? You guys are having... You guys are being educated right now about change. The hierophant is the number five. It's about change and conflict, freedom, travel, being quick with it, being adaptable. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you guys are going through a stage of conflict right now where you feel like it's stagnating in your world. But you're scared to move on because it's just like, even though it's like complete chaos and discomfort going on, you are used to this chaos and discomfort like you already know you already know what to expect do you understand what i'm saying and if you move forward into this new dimension into this new world you don't know what's over there even though you're getting the education and you're getting guidance and you're getting the rules of the playing field from the hierophant i still feel like you don't feel comfortable for some reason it's just like I need more information. I could see you sitting back in, like, say you might have already completed the class by the Hyperfant. I could see you going back and taking the class again because you scared to go to the next course. But you've already been thoroughly educated. You know what I'm saying? So you know what you got to do, but it's just like you're scared to do it. The Knight of Cups here. So I feel like this definitely has something to do with some level of expectation surrounding love. And if you look at this um, unicorn, do you see how the unicorn has like a metal mask over the face? You know, um, of course it's always good to see the Knight of Cups on the, on the table, but at the same time, it's like, you're going to have to take that mask off, baby. You're going to have to take that mask off so people can see you. You know what I'm saying? And you see that the um, the unicorn is having to go over this, having to walk over this river to get to the other side. Do you understand? Uh, I feel like you have this mask on your face so that people can't see the fear. It's like you're gallantly, you're gallantly moving towards what it is that your heart is desiring, but... I feel like you have your face covered so people can't see how scared you are. How scared you are about making this move. Give me some guidance right on the other side of this world card, please. What's on the other side of this world? Clarify this world in reverse. Thank you. It's seven of swords. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all about to sneak away on somebody. Y'all about to sneak away. And I don't want to say that you guys are like stealing anything. But I want to say it's like you're stealing your mind back. Um, you guys are being manipulated at this current moment by someone or something. And uh, I definitely see you sneaking away in the middle of the night it's like whatever you're doing i feel like you it's people that you that you know for sure would be in the way and will try to influence you otherwise what is this the five of swords yes the seven of swords and the five of swords you think that I, young i feel like y'all are in some level of danger or something like that the five of swords in the reverse, that could mean if you get caught doing this. I mean, y'all very much so could be trying to steal something. It might be like some type of possession or some money or something like that. The knight of swords. You, yeah, it's like. You, whatever you're going to do, I, I really do feel like someone might be trying to steal something or take something before they leave. It's something that they feel like they're owed. It's something that they feel like they deserve and that somebody is not giving to them and they're not leaving without it. And you know if you get caught, if you get caught leaving, period. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to change your world and these people that you're dealing with 
they are not trying to allow you to sneak off and better yourself. Do you understand? The swords are about mental. You understand? It's about your mind. It's about your intelligence. Do you understand? Your air sign is about your intelligence. You know what's best for you, but you've been dealing with a double-edged sword. It's damned if you did, damned if you do, damned if you don't. When things are going good, it hurts. When things are going bad, it really hurts. You know what I'm saying? It's something about this situation. And I feel like, okay, this is the Knight of Swords. If you get caught or if whoever this is has any type of inclination that you've been getting advice and that you've been getting help how to move forward and to gallop towards your heart's desires, they're going to come running at you with the sword trying to figure out where the fuck you're going and why you're going. And it's like you don't want to explain yourself to anybody. You just want to go. You just want to go. I feel like you've been patient enough. You've been working through your fears. I feel like someone is possibly been going through some type of I have a mental abusive relationship. It could be most definitely be physical. It's like intimidation. It's intimidation. What's this? Page of Wands. In the Nine of Swords. Yeah. It's like you guys have got an offer of a lifetime. You guys have an offer of a lifetime, an offer a new start at a new beginning, and you want to move forward to achieve. Hold on, y'all. Y'all want to move forward to achieve that, but it's like the current state of living that you're in. It's like an absolute nightmare, and you're it, like you feel like your nightmares and your your night terrors are going to follow you, and you guys have been having dreams about you trying to move towards this new beginning and these people following you and you getting caught and them trying to bring those night terrors and those worries like you've been having a lot of dreams that things are going to go wrong like as you're sneaking look look, look as you're sneaking away this person is going to run after you and try to fight with you and trying to like I feel like it's it's something about some physical violence. I'm sorry. Like, y'all have been going through something where it's like either extremely controlling and verbally abusive or extremely controlling and physically abusive. Like, awesome Tina Turner ass shit. And, like, you're currently in a nightmare. Like, you go to bed crying a lot. You go to bed crying a lot. And you're finally... And some of you guys, y'all might me if y'all been having issues with nightmares and things like that. Get you some smoky quartz, okay? Get y'all some smoky quartz. Let me show y'all my smoky quartz. Hold on. I found this outside in my in my yard. So get some smoky quartz. Okay. Some smoky quartz. Okay. Now I got some more. Smoky quartz. I brought this outside in my yard, so you probably got some closer than what you think, but you see how the staff here is a smoky court staff. This person is moving towards their new beginning and they're trying to be patient and do this shit the right way because whoever this is, Libra, y'all are scared. Y'all are scared. It says pause before you take action. Trust the divine timing is at work. Be patient. And play while she wait. I feel like what they're saying is like you got to play this shit off. You got to play this shit off like everything is cool. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to play everything off. Like if you guys want this to work. And the reason why your word is in the reverse is because this motherfucker is running. It's going to run. When they find out what you're doing, they're going to run after you. And they're like, I feel like it's some Ike Turner ass shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Like I dead ass feel like that y'all are getting some guidance from the hierophant about a better way about what real love is what real commitment is you guys might be in a controlling and abusive marriage you know what i'm saying and with that knight of cups you're trying to gallop away towards something that you really love you're trying to get across that river because you know a better life is for you on the other side like i said you want to close this chapter but 
this motherfucker's like, I'm going to close it for you because you're not going any fucking where. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's a lose-lose battle. It's a lose-lose battle. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of abuse. There's a lot of controlling energy there. And you got to work through your fears. This is a new moon in Scorpio. Like, you got to be prepared to fight back. You know what I'm saying? The Scorpio may look like a little small little bug, but the amount of venom that one little prick can take out a fucking wildebeest. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you got to understand that power and the venom that you have inside of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they're not as strong as they appear to be. Like you got to get your power and you got to fight back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Clarify the world, the seven of swords and the five of swords, please. Yeah, the four motherfucking spades. Like, this is basically, to, like, y'all, um, this is someone that you need to take this whole situation slow. You need to take the situation easy. You got to really, um, you got to really think this thing out because I feel like one false move and it's going to go. It says X. Libris, you see that? Yo, somebody is in a fucked up situation. This is coming right off the, the, the three of spades is coming right. The four of spades is coming right after the three of spades. The three of spades is third party situation. So this could be a situation where you caught somebody up in a third party situation. They want to beat up on you because they got caught. How fucking stupid does that sound? This is the seven of spades. This is a tower moment. You understand? This is something that hits you like a ton of bricks that you weren't even expecting. Let me look at this card. Let me look at this card. Yeah, look at this card, y'all. You see how the unicorn is trying to get ahead. And you see how the human beings got their staffs and their swords like pointing at his neck like if you try to go any further i will fucking kill you do you understand what i'm saying i'm trying i'm like i'm not fucking playing but i'm trying to tell you that i feel like someone is and then these dogs right here they have collars and chains and shit around their neck like they're in capture they're in captivity look at this y'all like i can't i can't I'm sorry, like, no. And then the six of motherfucking spades. Oh, my God. The dragon. This is, listen, this is supposed to be a unicorn, but you see how that unicorn morphed into a dragon? Listen, these people are trying to hold the unicorn back. They're trying to capture this unicorn and make it a slave or, you know, like, no, that's why I'm trying to tell you that this 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 unicorn right here is stealing money, is stealing whatever resources that they need so they can get the fuck out of there. But they're trying to do it quietly. Seven of um, seven of swords also means someone being resourceful, using their smarts, using their wits to cleverly maneuver their way up out of a situation remember the seven of uh, uh, swords is someone trying to sneak away because this is an extremely volatile dangerous situation here like i feel like someone i i just heard i i, I didn't think that this person would ever do that to me like i don't know like maybe someone pulled a knife out on you or something like you said that you were leaving and this motherfucker like really showed their hand and really showed you t towards the level of crazy controlling and abusive manner that they really are the six of spades represents the death card you're having to put that nice unicorn exterior aside and you need to pull out that fucking scorpio energy it's time for you to use your venom don't let nobody motherfucker scare you use your brain do not tell nobody about what the fuck you're doing. Only person that you talk to is me, you, and God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't tell your mother. Don't tell your brother. Don't tell your sister. Don't even tell your best friends. You got to move in silence and violence right now. I ain't even lying, young, because I swear to God. You got to move in silence and violence right now. Do you see? Silence and violence, you got to turn into a motherfucking dragon because at the end of the day, ashes to ashes, death, dust to dust. 
this is the death card do you understand death creates rebirth you have to step into your darkness to get into the light in this situation you cannot play lice because these people are trying to control you and keep you in captivity like this is like scary i don't like this energy Libra, especially not during your birthday baby y'all shouldn't be going through this shit y'all should not the fuck be going through this shit at all at all And I just noticed, listen, the Knight of Cups, this is you trying to gallop away to the other side of the lake because you're safe over there. And remember, you got your mask on because you got to hide what you're doing. You got to play cute right now so motherfuckers don't know your boss moves that you're doing. They can't know. Like, they cannot know. Do you see the... um? page of wands you see how the chameleons right there you gotta adapt like right now you gotta fucking adapt and you gotta play your hand like i swear to god you gotta be smarter than the average bear don't even let this motherfucker see you miserable and crying like let people think that everything is okay and just be patient and i'm trying to tell you like i'm scared y'all because this motherfucker's gonna come after you with vengeance and they might hurt you, Slim. And this person has a mask on, too. Like, you got a mask on, this person got a mask on. Because I don't think that you thought that this person was capable of this level of abuse and treachery. Clarify the Hierophant, the um, Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords, please. What the fuck? What is this? The Jack of Clubs. So, the Jack of Clubs is someone, this is typically a male um, energy, but this is someone that is, like, a very work-oriented, athletic. This person could uh, be into, I just heard boxing. This person's like a boxer or something like that. And in their day-to-day -day job, whatever they do, they can do like maintenance, they can do construction work or whatever the fuck it is that they do. They wear a uniform with their name on the uniform and the title of the company that they work for on the uniform. So like they're just like an average worker, but like maybe shit at home is like the boxing ring or something. It's like you got you you have to be fit for this situation. You got to be fit. And you see how she got this like little pendulum and shit in her hand? It's like you guys are waiting for spirit to move your pendulum in the right direction to tell you if it's okay to go. Um, I heard a Mustang. A black Mustang. I don't know, some of you ladies might drive a black Mustang. Or maybe you might go and rent a black Mustang. Like you want a muscle car or something like that. Like a car or something that nobody would picture like a woman driving. You know what I'm saying? Like a, something. You want a really, really fast car to get the fuck up out of there. And something that doesn't look feminine. You know what I'm saying? So no one would even think that you are in this vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get to the other side. The ace of spades. Here go the fucking death car again. This is the death car again. Do you understand? This is another card of endings to new beginnings. Do you understand? But the six of spades is more like the death card where it's like I'm having to fight tooth and nail to get out of a fucked up situation because I can't take this shit no more. Do you understand? I can't take this shit no more. This death card is literally... You knowing, only thing I have to do is get this Mustang, get this car. Like, it's it's like y'all are waiting for, or this could even be someone at work. Maybe somebody at your job. The Jack of, um, the jack of Clubs can also be someone that you work with. It could be like a male co-worker, somebody that drives a black Mustang. Maybe they're coming to pick you up and get you up out of there and get you to safe refuge. And then the fucking five of spades, y'all. The five, oh my God, it's so many spades. It's so many, it's all spades, y'all. 
all motherfucking spades except for this person that you work with. And the jack of spades is typically a male worker. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's somebody, it could be the maintenance man at your job. It could be somebody that they wear their title on their on their on their on their shirt on a uniform. Look. Look, y'all, I'm trying to tell you, y'all are cutting someone out. This represents, like, the left-handed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are cutting out someone that's left-handed or ever your left hand. You know, you are, like, this is the... <sighs> this is that horse of darkness. Do you understand? This is someone being extremely, extremely, extremely upset. Because you're trying to cut them out of your life. And I promise you, this person, if they catch you, if they get any wind of this shit, it is going to erupt in extreme violence. Do you understand, Libra? I want you to be very fucking careful. Very careful. And then this is also representing you, like, riding away in the darkness on a, in this Mustang or what? I'm, I'm serious. I feel like it's a black Mustang. You understand? Isn't a Mustang a black horse? It's like I feel like some of you guys are letting your anger fuel you to get out of this situation. And you see how fast that horse is running? I mean, that motherfucker is galloping. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, galloping, baby. I'm seeing you going 90 down 95. Like, your ass is speeding the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, you're you not even going no straight shot. You're going zoop, 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 zoop. So can't nobody even remotely even guess the way that you went. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just going straight down 95. You understand? Oh, my God. Clarify the page of wands and the knight of swords, please. Oh, please, no more space. Like, I got so much anxiety in my stomach right now, y'all. I got so much anxiety in my stomach. I feel like some of y'all are going through some abuse, and y'all not even telling anybody about it. Listen, you see you see this person is injured, laying on the floor. Do you see this shit? But the seven of diamonds is like a, a, a lucky, it's like, it's, it's, it's a card of luck. It's a card of luck. It's like when you're down, like your lucky spirit guy, someone that you least expect. And I'm trying to tell you, it's somebody at your job, y'all. If someone at your job is going to come and is going to save you. Someone is coming to save you, young. Oh, it's coming to save you from this motherfucking nightmare, yo. What is this? Is this like a mallet? What the fuck is this? Like, I'm sorry. Like, some of y'all are getting beat on. Like, someone is coming to save you. And then they're going to give you, like, some money, too. Not only, uh, listen, you see how this person is laying on the ground beating up. Because they've been in an abusive relationship. Do you understand? The ten of spades is, like, ruined. Someone is coming to save you from this ruin. Like, you've been... You've been having a very, very tough road. Like, I feel like this is like a mallet, like someone's being beaten. You know what I'm saying? With like a club or something like that. It's like, God, y'all. I told y'all. This is this is like a, a, a lucky money win as well. So, like, I'm trying to tell y'all, some of y'all might have stole some money or something. And y'all got to get the fuck up out of here. Because I feel like otherwise, if y'all didn't do that, like, y'all wouldn't have been able to survive or be able to pay for your hotels. I honestly feel like some of y'all are getting the fuck out of there. Y'all don't even give a fuck about... Y'all don't even know where you're going to stay. You don't know where you're going to live. You're just going and you're, like, winging it. Like, I really do feel like y'all are winging it. And y'all stole these seven of diamonds. I want to say y'all stole these seven of diamonds or and or this person from your job that is helping you. With this ace of spades that's helping you in this situation and to cut this situation out ever they're giving you some money and you least expected that shit because i feel like y'all are walking away with just the clothes on your back or whatever the fuck you can fit in your pocket because it's like you're traveling light because you can't carry all of this shit because it's going to look obvious you know what i'm saying and whoever this is is probably going to give you some money to make sure that you can be able to survive or whatever because you've literally, your life, you've taken a beating. What is this? Angel therapy, y'all. This says, give your cares and worry to the angels and allow us to take your burdens. <sighs> y'all, 
Y'all, I swear to God, I got, um, I got anxiety in my stomach, man. It's just making me sick. Give me one more. Uh, give me a few more, excuse me. What is this? Take back your power. It's time for y'all to take back y'all power. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this? Clear sentence. Notice your reoccurring physical emotions and feelings as they signify divine guidance. Pay attention to your emotions and your feelings because I promise you, like, stop just pushing them to the side and acting like everything is okay. Like, you know, you can't do that. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional, physical feelings. Like I'm trying, somebody is going through some abuse. Someone is being physically abused, y'all. I'm not just saying this because, I'm not saying this because of nothing. I damn sure don't want to say that shit. Like someone is being physically abused, fit, spiritual understanding. I am bringing you a store information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So, you guys have been seeing a lot of signs here lately that are encouraging you to get the fuck out of this situation. Y'all, I swear, like, somebody, like, please get the fuck out of this situation for someone beat y'all to death. Like, I'm not lying, young. I am not lying. I'm not lying. Because I'm, I'm feeling like this is someone... I'm seriously, I feel like this is someone that might have caught their spouse cheating and they got beat because they got... Because they caught their spouse cheating. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck you going to beat somebody because you got caught? You understand what I'm saying? Whew, let's go to the good tarot, y'all. You got to work through your fears. It's a new moon. It's a new day. You have to fight with vengeance. You have to fight and you have to take your life back. You have to take your power back. Because I swear to God, if y'all stay in this situation, this person is going to fucking beat you one day to you ain't going to be here no more. And I don't want that to happen to y'all. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? What is this? The emperor in reverse. Listen to me. Listen to me. The emperor in reverse is not a good person. This is clarifying to me that y'all are going through some physical abuse. Listen. I want y'all to get the fuck away from this person. Your life is dependent on it. What are you going to sit back and wait this person to beat you to death? Listen. The two of earth and the motherfucking queen of earth. You. Some of you have children to take care of. Do you understand? You have your family that you have to take care of. But honestly. So I'm, I'm, I'm not even getting kids. I feel like this is someone that. Is single. And that is like. No, it might not be the two of earth right here. It's like y'all are having to do this to protect. Y'all are having to do this to protect yourself and to protect your children. You got to find balance. You got to be able to. It's God, y'all. I really, 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 really think that your earth is being shattered right now. Like, your earth is being shattered right now. This emperor has, like, I want to say took the wind out of your lungs. Like, I just heard he punched you in your stomach and it just, like, knocked out of all of the wind out of your, your stomach. And, like, it's like you couldn't take in anymore. Like, some of y'all have been trying to hide the abuse. Like, y'all been, and I, and I feel like I've been talking to y'all, too. And y'all y'all not telling me that y'all going through no abuse, y'all. I mean, not that y'all got to tell me what's going on with you, but some of you guys I'm very close with in this Libra group, man. And I've never seen abuse come out on this table for Libra before. And now I'm just, I'm like really, really fucking concerned. Like, I'm really, really concerned. Y'all email me. If y'all need help, email me so I can find out some advocacy groups or something like that in y'all area so I can find some way to get y'all some help. Like, please, please, like, do not be scared. Like, you see that Scorpio moon? I am your Scorpio friend. Like, if you need help, like, tell me. Like, I might not be able to physically get there, but I might be able to make an anonymous call for you or to do something. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's to a fire. Listen, it's like you are sitting back 
You are sitting back trying to figure out if you should stay or go or not. And I feel like a lot of this shit has to do with money. It has to do with money. Like, this person keeps you under control because of money. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you don't know how you're going to take care of your kids or take care of your family or something or what you're going to do. The strength of reverse. Like, yes, like, you have to be able to wrap your head around that this is the best thing for you and your family you got to do the best thing don't let the devil get in your head and try to make you feel like that you can't do this so you got to keep being patient you got to sit back and wait you might sit back and wait and it may end up taking your last breath you cannot sit back and wait no more stop listen stop being in a state of confusing of confusing i can't even fucking talk because my brain i'm sorry y'all like my brain is going 50 miles an hour. Listen, stop making the same fucking mistakes with this person. This person is not going to change. The more and more you sit back and wait, this motherfucker is getting worse. This person is getting worse. And the more and more you're showing frustration, the more and more that you're talking back, the more and more that you're challenging this person, the more abusive that this motherfucker is getting. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to listen to me. You have to work through these fucking fears with the Scorpio moon. You got to get away from this person. Your life is depending upon this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's um, go to the numerology spread. Dear Lord of Heaven. In my T.S. Madison voice. Oh my God. I'm seeing Capricorn, Aries, Leo. Those are all signs of people. And I... Uh, Based off of what y'all be saying in the comments, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, and Taurus are all signs that I've heard that there's been some level of abuse before. You know what I'm saying? So, ugh, what is this? Effort. You have to take effort. You have to take effort right here. This is that solar plexi chakra. You got to get that energy flowing through your body to figure out what you need to do. Do not stay stagnant in this. You need to make the effort. And then the 13 is the death card. That's the death card in the tarot. Love. You got to find love within yourself and find peace and harmony within this situation, baby. You have to love yourself, baby. You have to remember who you are throughout this situation. What's over here? Spiritual career. Maybe you need to listen to someone that has this spiritual career. Do you understand what I'm saying? Me, who is telling you that you have to honor yourself and, 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 and you got to go. You have got to love yourself and get the fuck out of this situation. Physical activity. Physical activity. Listen, you like you have to physically make movements. Effort, loving yourself, spiritual career, physical activity. And maybe some of you guys are looking towards a spiritual career, but I ain't even fucking. I'm, I, don't, I don't give a shit about that shit right now. I don't give a shit about no goddamn career right now when I'm seeing fucking abuse on this table. Like, y'all can deal with y'all fucking career and shit later. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm the fuck sorry. You need to listen to your spiritual advisor right now, which is me, okay? And I'm trying to tell you. You have to put physical activity behind this shit. Please move on the side of love and loving yourself. Do not continue to be in a state of confusing. Um, confusement. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word. I'm so, Oh my God. What is this? The five of pentacles. Listen. The worst will be over as soon as you get your ass up out of this situation. And don't worry about money. I'm trying to tell you. Someone is about to give you some money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is somebody at work or somebody is going to find some resources for you where you're going to be in a safe shelter. Like you're going to be in, 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 a, in a place of shelter to a swords. You need to make your mind up and stop being blind to this situation. There's a lot of twos. The two of earth, the two of fire, and now the two of swords. All right here. Two, two, two. Y'all Google that and find out what two, two, two means. Oh, love. The three of pentacles. Okay? You need to go somewhere where you can actually get some counseling and some work. I feel like after this whole ordeal, like, you have to love and 
love on yourself and you might need to get some counseling after this ordeal because you're going to have to get some counseling y'all because this is serious what is this the the three of wands physical activity like this is clarifying the physical activity y'all stop sitting back waiting for ships to come in i'm, I'm trying to tell y'all if y'all do not put movement into this you're going to fucking regret it you're going to regret it ten of pentacles is in the middle right here in the middle once you make the effort and realize once you make the effort and realize that the worst will be over once you start making movements listen to your spiritual advisors that are telling you that you're in a dangerous situation love yourself and then once you get in a safe haven where people are going to be able to help you Allow them to help you fix your inside. They're going to help you work, build yourself back together and build yourself back up. And they might even offer you a job and they're going to work with you. You understand? But you have to love yourself and see yourself to safe refuge out of this situation. Do not sit back and continue to wait. You need physical activity. You need to actually physically make an effort in order to change the situation. Last spread last spread it says manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance do you understand please get yourself out of this situation so that it can grow okay you gotta grow y'all i swear what is this one it says romance okay cupid arrow strikes once you get out of this situation you will find the appropriate love Someone that's really going to love you. Love don't come with an iron fist, you guys. Love doesn't come with an iron fist. Libra, I can't stay in this energy no more because I love y'all too much. And this shit is like really hurting me. I can't. I can't. I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. Y'all email me at scorpionrays at gmail.com. Love don't come with an iron fist, y'all. Work through your fears. Get the fuck out of this situation. Because if anything happens to y'all, I swear to God, like... That would kill me. Please, love yourself, Libra. I'm gone.